Okay, good afternoon everyone. So welcome to our webinar for today. So we are going to explore online uh, tools that could help us for our teaching and learning experience. So uh, I'll be primarily giving you four, four main sites uh, that you could use for your presentation, for your referencing, for um, layouts, for posters, infographs. And the last one would be for free ebooks. So if we are going, if we are going to explore everything, one hour would not be enough. So I would rather start with the sites that I really, really know. So, and by the way, there are also other alternative, there are alternative sites that you could use, but bear in mind that all of these would require internet connection. So hindi na ako gumawa ng uh, presentation, I would go straight to how these are used as I explain how these are useful, uh, how these can help us in bettering our teaching um, teaching delivery. So let's start. Okay. So for the first one, we are going to have we are going to have the Prezi. So uh, for the Prezi, allow me to log out for you to see how it works. <clears throat> so I encountered Prezi around 2010, if I'm not mistaken, yes, 2010, and I saw it being used by a UP professor, and he's, re he's really a good speaker. So maliban sa magaling na siya mag-talk, ang galing niya pang mag-present. Um, Tapos nakaka-attract pa yung mismong presentation niya kasi hindi siya yung typical na PowerPoint. Kasi kapag PowerPoint, medyo memorize na natin yung mga templates. Lalo na tayong mga teachers, di ba? Alam mo na yung mga templates na nandun. So, um, if you are open to the concept of having or looking into the alternative, uh, an alternative platform for presentations, you could have Prezi. However, the, the process of doing it would have to be online. At saka may mga limitations then So, kung medyo look, super luma yung laptop mo, like um, mga 2010 pa nabili, uh, depende sa process or uh, may mga laptops na hindi siya gagana. So, kung baga kung kabibili mo lang or nasa i3 na yan, i5, kakayanin, ng, kakayanin naman ng PC mo. And then, for presentation-wise, um, we have two types of Prezi. Prezi kasi. We have the Prezi Classic and the Prezi. Prezi or Prezi Next. Mas, I would say na mas madali si Prezi Next kasi ang dating niya, Mahalos malapit na siya sa PowerPoint ang dating yan. Pero nandun pa rin yung pag-zoom in and zoom out. Si Prezi Classic ang nauna, yun ang na-practice ko, nagamit ko um, since 2011, 2012. Hanggang ngayon ginagamit ko pa rin siya sa mga, sa mga presentations ko na talagang kinoconsider ko importante. So if you attended uh, the webinar yesterday, I use Prezi for the presentation there. Just to show you at some point that I really prepared and there's an alternative. So let's start. Um, how do we how do we get there? So go to prezi.com. So there we have it, prezi, p r e z i dot com, and then of course you would have to enter. And let's go to get started. Okay, siya. Okay, get started. Actually, what's good about this is that um, you could have, you could connect your Facebook accounts or your Gmail. So it makes it easier to log in. Lalo na kung isa kayo sa mga katulad kung makakalungutin sa password, my God. Sobrang dami ng mga accounts, hindi mo na alam kung ano yung password ng mga bagay-bagay sa life. Uh, just a tip, if you're like me who tend to forget the passwords, you could like send an email to yourself with your password, but make sure that the email is secured, okay? Or on my end, kung hindi naman ganun ka-critical yung mga laman ng mga accounts, I usually send it back to myself. Send it to myself sa messenger. Pwede mong i-message yung sarili mo actually. So here we have it, sign in. So may paid version siya. Or the paid version would give you the, the, the power to, the power have premium images, PDF export, and offline access. Uh, meron siyang offline access in a sense that pwede kang mag-edit sa computer mo kasi may bayad yun. May 14-day trial. But for the basic, it's free. So, 
you do the editing online and then you download the offline version. Kung baga kapag na-download mo, halimbawa magpapa-COT ka or classroom observation, naka-download na. Kaso ang challenge dun is hindi mo siya pwedeng i-edit. Okay? Or kung i-edit mo, kapunta ka dito sa Prezi, tas dun mo siya, online mo siya i-edit, then na-download mo na naman. So, ka, ang, ang hassle, best. Yeah, but it's, I think for me, it's worth it. So, allow me to walk. Allow me to walk you through first with how you 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 start with it. So I click on basic, okay? Well, let's go back. So basic, oh, wag tayo sa individual. Pero kung mayaman ka, ba't hindi, di ba? Pero kung, oh, ito meron ding students and educators. Meron siyang free din, the, just the basics. And then you have uh, $3 per month. We have our parang uh, privilege to use uh, these uh, uh, kind of, ano ba to? Uh, this kind of uh, version of uh, Prezi kasi educators tayo, basta dapat yung, yung, uh, yung email ad na ipang sa sign up mo, may dot edu sa dulo, something like that. But uh, as, as practical beings, why not just go for the free, diba? So, let's start with the basic. Huwag kang mag-move dito kasi lalo na yung business. Bongga ka kung $59 pero per month pa yan ha. Pero we could, we could do away with the basics. So continue. And then uh, i-fill out mo yan. Kung gusto mong separate account, you could start with your uh, name. Like for example, Cindy Cicat. And then kunwari cindy.cicat at gmail.com. And then some random password and then okay na. Okay, and then, uh, by the way, you have the trial for 14 days, but you can use this, pero uh, para hindi na lang mabitin or sumama loob mo, just in case you wanna continuously use it, I would rather use online, kung stable naman yung internet. And then, if, you're, if, if you don't want this, you could sign up with Facebook, okay? So, it would connect you to what's existingly, um, it would give you the connection agad, or parang ito. Agad siyang pumasok sa account ko kasi nakakonect si Facebook account ko sa Prezi ko. So, yan. You see it. Okay? Now, let's see kung maraming nagawa na natin. So, allow me to show you my presentations. As I've mentioned, there are two types of Prezi. You have Prezi and Prezi Classic. Earlier, tinawag nila tong Prezi Next. Pero parang ngayon, ito na yung main na parang version. It, kasi pagka-arrive mo dun sa page, ito yung bubulaga na sa'yo, hindi na yung classic. Okay? Alin ang mas madali para sa akin? Para sa akin, mas madali si Prezi na ito, itong version nito at hindi si classic. Kasi uh, although both of them have templates, this is, um, this is easier. And you could actually use this feature, convert PowerPoint. And then it would help you, um, it would help you import a PowerPoint presentation and then convert it to a Prezi presentation. So, mamaya na natin tingnan yan. So, let's see uh, my existing, my existing, uh, what do you call this one? My existing presentation. So, let's check this one. This is my presentation when I was, I was, I was preparing for my final defense for my master's. So, pakita ko lang kung ano yung difference niya. So, I use this. This is a pre-existing template. But on my end, I changed the background dun sa topic mismo, which is the Fields Avenue. So, tignan natin yung kaibahan. Okay? So, may pa-zoom in siya. Pero, you're using slides. The concept of Prezi is that you have a main picture and then it would zoom in. At yun ang magiging part ng slides mo. So, at first, it sounds complicated. Pero kung iisipin mo, parang may malaking picture ka lang. Tapos, zoom in dun yung slide mo, then zoom out, then zoom in siya. Ako, when I feel a little playful, I even turn it around, parang umiikot siya, hindi dahil gusto kong hiluhin or partially gusto kong hiluhin yung mga nanonood, para din ma-amaze sila na, ah, pwede pala yun. Okay? So, we have this, okay? It moves, um, it moves along, katapos niya sa introduction, pupunta naman siya sa other part. Okay? So, kumbaga, hindi siya yung typical na template na makikita mo sa PowerPoint presentation. So, ayan. Yan yung research ko. And then, the conclusion. 
And that's it, okay? Ganun siya kadali. And how did we get to do that? We primarily have a get started video here that could help you as well. Um, you could do, you could watch this on your own na lang, but I, for me, I would practically give you the steps. And by the way, for Prezi, you, you, could, you could work with videos, okay? Like import from PowerPoint. So para kumbaga naka, naka MP4 na or pwede rin siyang video conferencing actually. And uh, advanced create, okay? This is a different uh, feature. Actually, isa to sa mga features na talagang i-explore ko pa lang din, okay? This is a video um, conferencing with Prezi de video desktop, okay? So you can download the Prezi video for desktop. Uh, we could talk about this afterwards. And then you also have designs. I once used this one, kaso ang limitation niya is hindi mo siya pwedeng i-download, okay? So, ayun ang problema. For example, I did this for my um, online video lesson for understanding culture, society, and politics. Let's see. So, meron ng template. So, ang mangyayari is parang papalitan mo na lang yung mga, yung mga parts, yung mga pictures, yung mga words para umaga sa'yo talaga yun. Kaso, ang naging problema is, wait lang, medyo mabagal ang internet ko yata. So as we wait for that, ayan, no, I also created um, a design for my for my subject verb agreement rules um, uh, online video. And by the way, we also could use this for infographics, posters, social media posts, reports, and you could convert your PPT or PDF file to these designs. So example, ito siya. Sa akin yung photo, I took this one when I went to Cebu like three years ago, and then yung text. However, okay, wait lang. However, uh, the problem here is you have to be a member of that paid, paid version. So, I don't really recommend that you use this one for your designs. That's why I'll be discussing picture charts afterwards. So, kung titignan mo share, sabi, di ba? You could share it, makikita nila. However, if you're gonna download it, okay, you have to upgrade, okay, if it's for high quality. Okay, you have to upgrade. So, PDF, hindi siya pwede. So, yun, yun yung downside. If you're gonna use the snipping tool, pwede rin. Oh, ito, download. Um, it, you could have free or trial for this one but then again it, it would only last for seven days okay so like for this one download so not really recommendable for for infographics and all but you could you could explore pero kung maniniwala ka sa powers ng snipping tool which of course i do not recommend mas maganda yung alam mong free talaga this is for the infographics para kapag um, sinasabihan din natin yung mga bata na gumawa ng infograph. Uh, kung ba kami legit na infograph ang ipapasa din nila sa atin. Kasi whether we admit it or not, it's difficult to create an infograph na from scratch talaga. Okay, so for example, I, I selected this double comparison. So we have the sample. Pwede mong baguhin yan. Halimbawa, sample text. Oh, they could change that, okay? And then, we move on to, oh, you could view it full screen, you could add team members, then we go to the downloading, and then we go again with the pro problem, the upgrading part. So, hindi mo siya basta-basta pwede i-download kung hindi ka, kung hindi ka part nung sa, kung hindi yung paid version ng inavail. So, we're dismissing that concept for Prezi, Prezi proper, and the same thing happens with the Prezi as in Prezi presentations kasi it would have to be presented using these, um, this particular platform. So, kung nabawa, nung ako nag-report ako, ginamit ko to, hindi ko siya pwedeng i-download. So, dapat merong connection. Okay? So, i-prepare na before, beforehand pa. So, ito halimbawa, application of the illuminative model of evaluation. 
So, before pa man ako maisa lang, may internet connection ako with me, it works with data as well. Doon, pinapakita, pinakita ko na yung, uh, nakaready na yung presentation. Kasi, hassle kung doon ka palang magsiset-up kapag nandun ka na sa mismong harap. Okay? Baga nakaready na. So, ayan. Um, it's, it's, it's nice, it's impressive in a sense that you see the overall picture. Parang deductive ba ang dating yan. You see the theme. Kaya nga kadalasan ang ginagamit ko personally is a picture that's related to the concept or at least present something that's related to education. Then nag-zoom in siya. Okay? So that's it for the sample. So let's try to create one from the template. Sample lang. And then we're gonna explore the Prezi Classic which I, I more likely recommend you to use. Okay? So let's say we clicked on the template, create from template. Pero pwede ka rin mag-create from scratch. But that's difficult. Uh, that would uh, that would require you to have a general concept first, pati dun sa Prezi Classic. So, kung, may, kung na-master mo na yung mga templates, you could, you could already shift to the next level na gumamit ka na ng, uh, gagamit ka na ng scratch, as in, Ikaw ang mag-iisip dun sa picture, paano yung flow and all. And uh, actually, you have the guides there already. O, diba? You could edit them now. Okay? So, that's for the blank. Let's go to the one with the template. It's not, let's not torture ourselves. Let's start with the basic muna. Use this template. O, halimbawa, how to get, how to deal with loans. Oh, alam niya how to deal with loans. So, kailangan may presentation title. Then, who can see this video? People I share it with, hindi pwede kasi dapat yun niya, $3 per month. So, anyone on the web. So, lahat ng presentations ko, actually, you could view them online. Uh, you search my name and then you're gonna see, search me and then Prezi, then you're gonna see all of my presentations. I personally do not have a problem with that. And practically, hindi naman siya basta-basta may edit. Lalo na kung ginawa ko siya. Okay. Uh, so, for example, this is it. Kunwari, strategic planning on resisting from loans. Okay. Okay. So, relate, diba? <laughs> Kapangyarihan ng loan. Then, you could put your logo here. Here. Then, the name. The name of your company. The date. So, let's move. Ba ang cute niya, diba? So, you could write here. Study the person, uh, consider the needs and wants. For example, okay, uh, and then ask yourself, do you, yourself, do you really need it? And then, let's say you're done, you're just gonna click outside. So, what if I want to insert an image? So, I'm gonna click on this part, insert. Para lang talaga siyang ano, PowerPoint, pero iba yung format niya. You could, if it's a text, gusto mo nang dagdaga ng text, ayan. Subtopic, by the way, is this part. So, mada, kapag nang dagdaga ng subtopic, uh, madadagdagan siya doon, okay? So, paano ka po, eh, uh, ba gusto ko siyang alisin, ma'am? Delete. Select mo, then press delete. Okay? So, insert. And then, image. So, pwede ka actually, Mag-search dun sa a source niya, like money. So, mag-search siya. So, bear with my... Uh, okay, so this one, uh, again, it's trial. Yung pwede pala dun sa isang version, dun sa Prezi Classic. So, I would rather use the upload image. So, sa upload image, ito yung mag-google ka ng image na gusto mo and then isa-save mo sa PC mo and then upload mo siya dito. Kunwari, um, choose image, um, pictures, let's say, I'm going to choose this pussycat, this, this cat, pussycat, the cat lover. So, ayun, nandun na siya. Nilitaw na siya. Then you could resize it, you could make it bigger, and then if you realize that you don't want it, you just click the picture and then press delete on your keyboard, and then it's gone. You could also um, change the style, like for the colors, the background, okay? Nasa sa'yo kung anong gusto mo. And then, uh, you could also have the colors, the topic shapes, even the text fonts, okay? It's up to you. 
And then for the insert part again, <clears throat> you could also put arrows, shapes, even audios, PDFs, and videos. And there are also animation, like the transition parts. But for me, it's all, I'm already fine with the movement of the of the Prezi. Kasi baka overkill naman kung sobrang daming movements na doon na lang nag, nag-focus yung mga studyante. So let's say you're done. You could like uh, present it or view the link if you want to share it with someone. Okay? You could also collaborate. So there's also this feature of live Prezi. So it's, uh, it's like a version of presenting it live. Okay? It's parang live streaming. Din. So you have all of these uh, possibilities. Then you could also create a video version of the presentation. Okay? So you, I hope you're getting that. Then, wala siyang, um, yun, may presenter view. Okay? Pero wala siyang download kasi it should be paid. Okay? So, ayan, for the presenter view, again, for the cheat notes, it has to be paid. Okay? Kaya kailangan alam mo talaga yung sinasabi mo. So, if you're gonna present it, Okay, here is how it looks like. Okay, and then, ayan, narrow me text. Okay, then moving on. Okay, ayan. Then we move on to the next part. And kadalasan, when it comes to their templates, the titles are usually connected with the parts. And sometimes you could already see the essential parts, especially if the topic that you're creating is related to the theme. Okay, so diba? So, may pa-zoom in. So, it's something different. And you can see the hallway, okay? Na hindi lang siya plain color. You have a background picture that will add interest to your students. But then again, we have to bear in mind that we would still be the best visual aid or instructional material that a student could have. So, hindi naman, well, kit ang ganda-ganda ng, ng uh, presentation mo is doon ka na mag, magdedepende, hindi po. Kasi, nakadepende pa rin yan sa delivery mo. Okay? So, um, if you have questions, feel free to comment it below. And then, ito, you could share. Ah, I feel ko mauna yung slide one. Okay, ayun. Then back, overview, and move ka sa next part. Okay, ayan, ganyan lang siya. So, I, am I done? Let's say, kunwari, I'm done na. It automatically saves. So, let's say, it's saved already back okay so we'll move to the presentations then you have lots of templates to choose from and ako ito muna ito pala yung nagagamit nagagawa ko for the presentations and what's good about this is wala siyang limit sa sinesave na number of files okay so are we okay with prezi let's go to prezi classic okay for prezi classic okay ito yung masasabi kong na pag magtibay na ng panahon okay mas tumagal pa siya kaysa sa nauna kong relasyon. Ito long, pang, pang forever si Prezi, okay? Hindi na, walang breakup kay Prezi. So, uh, if you're gonna check my presentation, sa pinakauna kong presentation, let's check ah. Uh, dami na, no? If you want to use some, feel free to do so. Okay? Okay, so 2011, okay, I started copying but not necessarily claiming them as my own as a guide. And then, nag-start na akong gumawa, ayan, ng sarili kong uh, presentations when I started teaching as well as when I was in college. So, this was something that I kept on using because it's something different that when they see, ah, it's not. PowerPoint presentation. It's Prezi. So let's start with the Prezi. Okay? Let me show you one one example. Or let's say a project that I did. If you, if you attended yesterday's webinar, you would see how I worked with Prezi there. It's a springboard. Okay? Let's have um, Parlet and ha Hamilton. So let's present it. Is this complete? Parang hindi ba? Let's have the developmental supervision. This is my presentation for my PhD class last semester. So ayan. Developmental supervision. This is mountain daw. 
Siyempre, may pang metaphor ka kung nagpa-present ka. That supervision is like climbing a mountain. Leadership is like climbing a mountain. And it's not easy. And you have to take it step by step. Diba? Instant na ano? Pa-metaphor agad. Mas mabulis eh. Okay, so this is how it goes. You see that it's practically moving up. But you have the slides. And that's the thing that I was telling you about. May pahilo premise. Okay? Pero if you don't like that, syempre di mo naman siya imove ng ganong kabilis sa mga estudyante mo. Ginahilo na lang sila. So, pwede rin. Magulo sila. Pero just kidding. You don't want them to be dizzy. Okay? This is a very wrong example of text. It's text him. You remember the uh, point, uh, six points or six bullets lang. Okay? So, there. And then, let's say we finished it na. Okay. There you have it. It goes back to the entire picture again. Parang it shows you again, oh, this is where we started. This is the entire picture. And that's what I really like about Prezi. So let's try to come up with um, a sample using the Prezi Classic meme. So let's say this is classic, ha? Huh? Okay, new presentation. Um, have, I con- uh, have I tried creating my own? Uh, by the way, you, you would see this. Um, Adobe Flash Player, you have you should have your Flash Player, by the way. Kung wala ka, it would direct you to downloading that. But if you have, like for this one, it's blocked. You click this parang padlock thing, and then flash, and then allow. Then okay na. Reload mo lang nun. Okay, then you have it. <clears throat> and then, it would load. So while it's loading, uh, you could also download the application, the viewer, sa phone nyo. So that could also help you. I tried it once using an iPad and uh, an iPhone. Pwede siyang gamitin remote. Yeah, pwede siya. And then it's so, it's so convenient. Okay? So ito yung mga templates. So we have more. You could choose, but if you're feeling adventurous, you could come up with your own. So, how do you come up from blank, like start blank, prezi? Siguro you could download a picture, parang nag-represent dun sa topic mo, and you could use that sa background. Then, dun ka mag-zoom in, zoom out, okay? But for beginners, you could start with, let's say, what do you want? Um, let's say this is... This one is nice. Kunwari, this take flight. Okay. Use template. So, this would be our template. Kung baga naka, nandun na yung mga path, okay, at mga slides, you could just add, okay? And this is the picture. It's blank. Um, let's say, our title is How to be Successful in Life. There. So you're okay with that. And there's the save button. If you feel like you're paranoid, anytime pa rin mag-brown out sa inyo, click that. But actually, it saves on its own as well. Pero syempre, we, we all have that tendency to, to worry, di ba? I know each and every one of us has experienced a traumatic moment wherein you did all of the work already, then you forgot to save, and then a problem happened, and, it, and your computer turned off. Napaka- traumatizing na naulitin mo kung walang auto-recovery ang, ang computer mo. But now, I think all, all of the computers have that feature already. So, ayan. Um, you could start with that. How to be successful then add text. Okay? Um, know your goals. Okay, for example. Start with your targets. Short and long term. For example lang. So, for example, you're okay now with that. But you want to expound on long term and short term. And you don't want to use the next part. Next one, you could... Can you see this? Um, yung, yung magnifying glass. You, have, you could zoom in, actually. So, pwede ta- natin i-zoom in. And then, click frame. Parang ito yung mga slides kapag nag... Um, Nag-add ka. Pwedeng bracket, pwedeng circle, pwedeng rectangle, pwedeng invisible. So, I'm feeling wonderful today, so I want circle. Ilalagay ko dito. Okay, there we have it, di ba? And gusto ko silang mahilo ng konti. 
So, ito twist ko. You would see parang ilalapit mo siya dun sa corners and you would see an extension and you could move it like that. Okay? And you click that slide over. You would see the slides here. Okay? And then you could start. Short-term goals can be achieved in within day, within a few days or a week or within a few days or weeks. There, Kunari, you're okay now with that. And then you want to insert a photo. Yeah, you could have image, symbols, YouTube videos, favorite, even highlighter or draw arrows. For example, you want an image, okay? Okay, there you have it. And then you would have to upload. Um, yun, isa yun sa mga challenges and it requires, uh, it requires you to Excuse my faces. It would require you to um, download all of the pictures already. So, for example, this one, my, my laptop. For example, I want to finish an article. Kunwari, that's my goal. And I could position it here. And I could make it bigger. When I can make it bigger or I could make it smaller. Okay? I could move it around. But within this frame lang. Kasi kapag nilabas mo na yan, di na siya lilitaw. So, nandito lang siya. You could also insert symbols. Okay? So, you have the styles over here. Like, for example, you want sketched. Then, a heart. Heart. Ayun. Drag mo lang. Yeah. You have the heart already. Okay? So, what's next? Is it saved? Yes, you can see the, the time stamp here. It saves itself. Then, tapos na ba ako sa slide na to? Kunwari, tapos na ako. Click. This is slide 3. Click that slide. And then, move to the next part. Okay. I-aano niya. I-arrange niya on its own. So, there. Kunwari, nakalagay na tayo. Ang cute ng mga origami things sa likod, no? Okay. Then, it shows you the entire presentation. Then, you could present it first. Um, I would recommend that after you did it, before downloading it, you present it first. For you to see what you did uh, online and for you to edit kung may wrong spelling, merong, na, merong mga errors, uh, typographical errors, pwede mo pang palitan. But once you're sure that you're fine with that, you click this part. And then you could download it as PDF. That's why you could send it to your students as well. Or download it as portable Prezi. If you're gonna click this, Download it as portable Prezi. Okay. Let's wait for it. So, it downloads in a zip, fi zip file. And you could also download it as PDF. Okay. Sorry for that. Na download na yan. Na the download na yan. Makikita mo, um, it will suddenly show up, magpa-pop up siya kapag ready na siya na, I'll show you later, okay? And then, we have the settings, kung ilan yung screen ratio. And then, you could also, uh, there, downloading as PDF, finished all pages. And once you're finished with all of the pages, save PDF. Ayan. So, pwede mo na siyang isave. Naka-PDF file na. Pero, without the zoom in, zoom out, of course, you know the nature of the PDF. So, mag-aano lang siya. Without the motion. Pero, yung mag-enlarge na part of how you see it here would be, uh, that's how it would show in the PDF. Okay? So, ayan. Kunwari, na-download na, di na-download pa natin. Let's go back. We're okay na. We saved na, kunwari. So, you have to download your Prezi um, viewer. Uh, and, and actually, you could use that for your phone, but for this one, for Windows, it automatically works as long as you have your Flash Player. Kadalasan built-in naman yan. Kung wala, it would show. Okay? So, you could also have it or get Prezi video on desktop. And you could create unlimited lens videos in full HD. Okay? But definitely, you have to be ready with your, with your, um, with your space. Okay? So, there. You have it. So, ito na siya. Okay? Ito na siya. Click mo. 
And then you have Prezi for Mac. Okay, if you're using MacBook. And for Windows, you would see that. Walang problema, hindi yan virus, ha? Click mo, double-click mo, extract all. Okay, you could use extract all you could, or you could just run it. Pero kung ipapresent mo siya later on, you ready mo na, extract mo na para lalabas na yung folder. Okay? There. Oh, lumabas na. Ito na yung kapag tinignan mo sa downloads, how to be successful in life. Click mo yung Prezi Windows. And then it will load. I, again, I would recommend that you ready your presentation ahead of time. Para kapag isasalang ka na or ipapresent ka na, ano, parang sinigaw. Okay? Kapag ipapresent na yan, <clears throat> nakaready na. So there you have it. You could present it offline. But you cannot edit it. So let's see. Just click on the next or you could use your, you could use your, you know, this one, this, your mouse or your pointer. It would work. So ayan. You're done now with your Prezi presentation. So, I know there are still lots of things to study about Prezi, but I hope I was able to give you an idea on the basics, at least on the template level. Uh, for, for the, for the strong-willed and the courageous ones, I would show you a Prezi classic that was created from scratch. Let me check. I believe I did one or two. Ito, margin. I did this. Uh, this was my report for my master's. So, ang concept is margin. Marginalizing. So, I, of course, you would think, what's the first thing that you're gonna think of when you're talking about margin? Of course, a bond paper with margin. So, that's practically what I did. And then, the text is on the sides. Kasi we're talking about margin. Marginalizing. And the center would be um, would be blank, just to emphasize that we're talking about margins. There we go with the metaphors, okay? With the symbolism. So, look at how we played on Derrida, Said, Baba. And then, ganyan lang kasimple, pero since you're using a dip different platform, it's, it becomes different. It, it appears different. So, ayan. So, may pag-arrows pa. It's simple, but it gives you a new avenue for your teaching or reporting. Okay? So, may pag-twist para ma mahilo si teacher. Hindi <laughs> na magtanong, but joke only. Nagtanong pa rin siya during that time. You have Baba. Okay? And then, you have Baba still for the location of culture. If you're a little major, definitely, you know, this one. Or if you're into cultural studies, um, you could use this. These are part of the, the insert shapes. Okay? And, yeah, symbols. You could get those. So, yeah, that's it. That's how I create from scratch. And for changing of fonts, by the way, let's use this creative writing. If you want to change the font, by the way, I failed to show that. I would, I would present it to you, but it appears just like how you change it with um, a designing platform. Parang similar lang din. I'm, I'm very confident that you could do it. So, for example, this creative writing. I'm going to double click it. Edit ba ako? Yan. Kapag lumitaw na yan, itong gilid, it means you're on edit mode. So, double click until you see that uh, cursor. And then, pwede mo nang palitan. You could use the subtitle, the title, the body. If you're not happy with those, you could change the font here. This is the adjustment of the size, then the color. Kung bold-faced or um, italicized or kung may background or kung wala. Dahil hindi siya mababasa kung walang background. Ayun. And then, you could um, justify, center, left, right, bulleted, and all. Okay? And then, you almost have the bullet points. And then, if you're, if you're okay with that, then I guess we're fine. Okay? So, this is another task that I did for myself, especially when I talk about Creative writing in workshops, ito yung ginagamit. Siyempre, speaker ka dapat, bongga yung presentation mo. Okay, so it's also an assurance uh, for the listeners na hindi downloaded yung presentation. When you really did it, okay? So, um, that's it for Prezi. So, again, let's have a review. We have Prezi as in Prezi, the new version of Prezi, the paid one. You could only... Um, don't use it online. 
hindi mo siya mapapresent offline. But for classic, you could download it, like the zip file. Okay, and then you're okay na. So, I hope you, you've learned from me on this part. Let's now move to infographics, presentation, stuff that is for picture charts. Uh, if you are teaching uh, empowerment technologies, this was taught already. So, let's explore. Okay, so if kunwari wala pa tayong account. So sign up, uh, pick to chart, pick to chart .com, ha? pick to chart. You can see it, pick to chart .com. So it would load based on the power of your internet. So I'm already signed in, okay? Dahil nakakonek siya sa Facebook ko. But if we are going to uh, sign up, you would see that it could connect to your Facebook. So, dahil nga, naka-sign in nga ako. Log out ko muna. Alright, sorry. Sign out. Okay. I, ho I, I hope I still remember. I hope it's connected to my Facebook. Okay. You could connect it to your Facebook or your Google account. Okay? You would see that. Ayan. Or if you don't want that, email and then password and sign in. This is for signing in. But for signing up, Wait, or sign up, create account. Ah, it's same thing. You have a Facebook or Google. That's what I sh I've shown a while back. I'm so, I, I didn't see it well. So there, you could use your Facebook or your Google account or come up with your own full name. But of course, again, kung isa kayo sa katulad ko, I would click on Facebook na lang. Okay? So, Let's work on Facebook. Okay. Since um, I guess I'm already using that account, it would redirect me to what I have at the moment. Okay, there. So, um, for pick the charts, it has limit. Um, you could only have hanggang five visuals. So, I would recommend that after you after you did after you did your design una print mo na rin naman na save mo na delete, delete mo na but for me i did not i didn't do that because i want to show you the, the samples that i made okay so for example during the during the ECQ i had no choice but to come up with my own layout for my daughter's first birthday so kinawa ko siya dito sa infograph so I was able to print this one on a larger scale, na pang, pang ano talaga, pang tarp size. So, kahit medyo blurred lang siya dito, but I managed to make this using pick the chart. And for the Brigada Escuela, the, for our school, I also used pick the chart. Okay? So, there. Okay? And luckily, we could download it. We could download the files using uh, the PNG format, okay? This once I use, I also use pick the chart for my, uh, for my video lessons, for my, I know, my vlogs. So for example, nonverbal communication, I took the template from this site as well. And for this one, for example, this is um, an infograph that I also, I, I also created. It's, it's actually a poster. So, Let's start creating one. Anisin natin ko. Okay. So, yun lang. May five limit, uh, five visuals lang. Uh, delete visual. Delete. Kung na-save mo na rin naman at okay ka na, might as well delete it. Okay. Hindi ko tinatanggal yung dalawang to kasi I might use the, the same style eventually with the next video lessons. Lalo na for short English courses. So, let's create new. So, you have infographics. You have presentations, you have posters, reports, flyers, social media. Uh, if you want a very stylish pro profile picture, tweet, or something that you want to post, you want to promote your, your online selling uh, business or your products, you could use this because they have very interesting layout. For example, uh, you want to you want to show your coat or you want to 
uh, emphasize a quote, you can use this one. Let me check out. These are for sales. Malbabi promo ka. Yan. So, online, you know that everyone is engaging, almost everyone is engaging in online selling. That's why Pick the Chart is also taking advantage of the situation. So, yeah. Anwari, what I know is nature theme Instagram post. So, for example, I'm going to use this template. So this is for the social media post. So what, whatever I do with this one, it's applicable to the other types as well. Ang medyo iba yung arrive would be the infograph kasi may blocks siya. But even if you have parang slides or blocks, if, if you save it, kasi save siya ng mahaba. Okay? Just like an infograph. So while we're waiting. Okay. Internet, yes. Thank you. How are you? Connection. Okay. So we are in a webinar right now. Pwede mong bilisan, Brad. So while we're waiting, okay, uh, you would consider this. Like for example, if you're going to use this template, you would just have to change the pictures and the text. Okay? So, ayan, editor. Wala pa din. Mm -hmm. So, powerful na. Ayan, reload ko. Let's wait. Loading theme. There, we have it. So, almost same concept. You could drag your photo here. Oh, let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it with my photo. Uploads, okay? Or you could actually browse images here and select existing images. Like, for example, yung mukha ko. And, yung pangit naman yun. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm practically, I'm practically insulting myself. I'll just, I'm just gonna use my daughter's picture. Anak, I'm asking for your permission. Kunwari may permission from her. So I'm gonna just gonna drop it there. So kunwari hindi siya blurred. Make sure that each you choose a picture that's high in resolution. For example, my picture. Mukha akong bad trip. Nakakat siya kunwari. Ayan. Since the format, the size is big, medyo nagpipixelate siya. So depende rin yung sa size ng ng ano mo, ng anong size, size ng picture mo at the same time size ng, ng poster or ng ano, ng social media post. And then dahil dark nga yung background, I could like fill it up. Or, or the text, I mean, you could like change the color of the text. Okay, there. Then you could um, you could look at the, op op uh, the opacity or opacity, however you call it. Then change the font, the text size. Then same, halos same sila ng itsura din ni Prezi. And then the link, if you want to share it, spacing ng letters. And then kung backward, forward, uh, etc. And then the, the alignment. So ayan, you're just going to change whatever it is that you have here. So let's say, kunwari, okay na. So the, the mountain view, kunwari. Huwag natin palitan. Hindi ito na lang yung palitan natin. Reach your dreams. Reach for your dreams. Okay. Okay, there. So let's see. I'm okay with this already. I could come up with the preview first so that I would check if I'm okay now with that. By the way, for this one, you could like remove this. You could delete those parts. Exit preview. Pwede mo tanggalin yung mga yan. Like select and then delete. Ayan. You could like remove those. Okay. So for example, ito lang ang bet kung itira. So delete. I could also press delete. Control Z. Delete. Or you could have it here. Like, delete block, I mean. So, yeah, delete block. Para sila mga slides. Okay? Delete block. So, etc. Kunwari, parang gumagawa ka ng, um, you could use this one if you're trying to have a series of photos or parang magazine type. Then, you go to the saving part. You could save it for it to be saved in the visuals. And then, uh, 
I would saving. You could also download it as I've mentioned, uh, pending medium or high, uh, high quality. I would show it to you later. I would like to thank my internet connection again. So if you're having challenges with the internet connection and you, but you're determined, nothing can stop you. Yun lang, you need patience. So you could download. Ayan. Di siya pwedeng PDF or PowerPoint kasi that would be for the paid version. So you could use PNG and then Medium. You could also choose if it's download as blocks, okay? But if you want a uh, full version, just click on the, don't click that part, then download. Then it will generate the PNG file. You could also share it. It's a thing now. So you can send the link. And you have the link. Okay? So while it's downloading, um, let's explore the other parts. Okay, you could integrate shapes, illustrations, lines, okay? The background, you could work on the background, even the color scheme. You also have the tools, okay? Let's wait for it to load. Okay, um, still, we're still loading. So once it's already fine, you would see it here, it's done, then it will go straight right here, and it will show you that it's downloading, okay? There, you could have other tools like for charts, maps, and videos, okay? So there, you would see it, it would go directly there, okay? So for infographics, while we're waiting for that part, you have featured um, templates, you have lots of templates that your students could use, and even you can use it. Ako nga, ginamit ko siya for the Brigada Escuela uh, poster, and I think it's effective naman at some point. And it would reduce the, the stress on how you're going to create the infograph, per se, because you have the template already, and it's very easy to, to edit. Okay, so it's still downloading. For example, um, you want this colorful thing here. It would close Prezi already. I hope I'm helping you. So these are the sites or the online tools that I usually use whenever I have to present something or if I have to prepare or come up with a poster. And it saves a lot of time. And at some point, it looks it look it looks good naman siya. It looks good. It looks decent. Okay. I went beyond five. I mentioned it already to you, so I have to erase one because I saved dashboard. Okay. This one is saving. It's taking time. So, kung nari erase na lang natin ito, since I have a copy of this naman, delete. Then, Okay, there. Irreversible. Siya, wala siyang trash. So, make sure that if you're gonna erase, you have made up your mind. Okay? So, then, we, we could come up with an infograph already. So, let's see, for example, tips and tools or nine tips. Nine tips for you to... Okay. So, there. We have the editor mode again. This one is still loading. Okay. By the way, there wouldn't be zip files anymore for pick the charts the moment that you that you download it. Ano na talaga siya, PNG file na siya. Wala nang extracting na magaganap. Okay? So, okay, tips to work from home like a pro. So, limbawa, tips to to avoid having too much loan, too much loans, or too many loans. Relate ang mga taga dep ed, yeah. Aray ko, isa ako sa mga yan. So for example, I changed that. This is the first block, and then you move to the next. And you have the guide already, you just practically change the text. And then if you don't like the color, you could uh, undo and redo. You could, ha you could change the color scheme, like I want this, or something different na. And then, okay, I could save. And then, I would have to rename it to, let's say, how to save myself from loans. 
No, dito, London. Aray ko. Okay. Bear with it. So, it's, it's, um, almost night time. Kaya siguro ganyan yung connection. You can have the preview. Can you see it? There. Pwede mong i-zoom out. Control and then the, the scrolling part. Or control, then neg. Control, then negative. Ayan, makikita mo. Yan na yung infograph mo. And with proper sizing, you could like have it printed sa talagang po, sa poster size. Okay? So for the editor, after decades, hindi pa rin siya nag, nag ano, let's exit preview. Then kunwari, download medium. No, don't download it as blocks. If it's downloaded as blocks, ano siya? For blocks siya. There, lumitaw na. This is the visual. Download this PNG. Let's see. Okay. So again, same process happens with the infograph and the rest of the types. The power of the templates. Yun yun. Um, actually, if you don't want to use this, you could also, you could also use uh, Microsoft Publisher. Pero I find the designs here cute. That's why uh, I use this. So, ayan. Nandiyan na. How to save myself from loans. Ayan na. And you could zoom. Ang ganda naman yung quality niya kapag na-zoom. Ayan. Pero kapag dinownload mo siya as blocks, hindi siya ganito. Per parang slide siya. Okay? So, there. We're okay with pick the charts. And you could still explore this one. There. You could have... Uh, reports, flyers, napaka, ano, it comes hand, okay? So that's our second, second online tool. So first we had Prezi with Prezi and Prezi Classic. Now uh, we, we're also done with picture chart. Then let's move on to side this for me. This is our best friend. This is my best friend, especially when I do um, tasks with uh, references in text citation. This helps me with my bibliography. So, maraming um, websites na katulad ito, like acbib.org or citationmachine.net. Okay? So, but personally, I used all, but I'm starting to have a favorite already. This was my previous favorite. But now, my heart belongs to cite this for me. So, how do you work on this? Back to bibliography muna, you have to set your citation style. For example, MLA. Kunwari, ah, sige, APA, that's what we use usually. For the modules, we use Chicago. So, and add reference. And then, for example, it's a website. Or no, not a book. Book. Um, for example, uh, it's about becoming a teacher. Kunwari, ayan. I hope you can see it. Then I'm gonna search. And it would show you initially uh, matching matching entries. Kung meron na na or nakagamit before. Okay? So, for example, I want this by Maidenhead site. Then continue. And before you finish, you review first the details. Kung meron ka namang kopya ng book, kung may nawawalang part, pwede mo nang ilagay dyan. Then complete citation. Then there you have it. Ah, ang dami kang halat ang ginagamit eh. There you have it. Naka ano siya, naka highlight. Okay? Gamit na gamit sa akin tong site na to. If you want the in-text citation, click this. And it will copy that part for your reference, in-text referencing. For um, the bibliographic entry, para dun sa references or works cited part, copy bibliographic citation and paste lang dun sa word. Okay? However, for if you want to get the Download to Word, okay? It has to be upgraded. So, syempre may limitations sa mga freebies natin. So, ako, I, I do the copy-paste it. For others, they prefer the built-in feature of Microsoft Word. And you could also use that. But for me, uh, of course, we have our preferences. And I'm giving you alternatives, okay? What if um, it's a website, for example? How to be a good Feature. You saw this, then you clicked it. Okay. So let's wait. Uh, let's get the link, copy, or there, copy, and then you paste it here. Add reference, 
then it's a website. No, I'm good. If you're if you're rich, then you could upgrade. Ako kay nak sa libre libre, okay? And then it shows there site. And then continue. Then check what's missing. Kung may kulang, balik ka dun sa dun sa site. Minsan nakikita mo yan dito yung author or kung anong pangalan ng site. Kunwari, okay na. Complete citation. And then, there you have it. Ayan. Reference added. Na-highlight yan dun sa dulo. Ayan. Um, what's good about this is, kahit nandito siya sa list na to, naka-alphabetize na siya agad. Naka-arrange na siya agad. Okay? So, ayan. Copy or copy in text citation. So, this is different. Check for grammar just in case you're doubtful about the grammar as well. You could also use that feature. Okay? So this is site. This for me could also use isabib. It's taking too long now. Isabib.org. So those are alternatives. I could um yeah, I could upload the links on the description box. So para alam niyo kung saan. And then this is one of the tools in life, practically that helped me during my thesis writing and even now that I'm studying. This gives you copies of books in PDF. Okay, so book C, uh, before we have book fee or book five, how, however, whatever it is that you call it. Book five. No, it's not working. So, nag-iiba kasi eh. All about the library genesis guide. For book C, let's stick with booksy.org. You want to look for books about teaching, like classroom management. Yeah, and click search. If you want exact matches, if you know the, uh, if you know the title of the book, okay. So yeah, nilitaw sila. Yeah. But again, may limitasyon ang mga bagay bagay. Oh my God, I cannot understand that. So make sure that you translate it as na English, not unless you could understand this. So, for example, Effective Classroom Management Teacher's Guide. Click this, this title. Okay? And then, just wait for a few minutes. Ayan, Russian pala yan. Link deleted by copyright holder. So, hindi siya pwede. Try to look for another one. Okay, for example, yun lang. Ito yung problema ng mga freebies. Ang daming etchos. Okay? You could only download up to seven. Okay, kunwari. Okay na, di ba? Let's reload it. Okay, for example, you have to check, okay? Ngayon lang, ngayon lang nangyari ito. Where's the translation? For example, this. Transformative classroom management. Okay? And don't forget to write English, okay? Of course, they live with, um, they live with the, ano, concept of ads. Okay. Have to refresh it na lang. And then, English. By electronic version. This one is not free. Let's look for free ones. Wow, it's non-stop. Uh, you could use Adblock, by the way. This is something new that happened to me today. So, ayan, let's check kung meron pang hindi naka-on ang aking ad block today. So, we're still looking for available ones. See this one. Then, although some, of course, we respect the copyright thing, but there are, there are books that are readily available. Like, for example, let's check Shakespeare. Uh, e dash um, e okay dot cc. This is another one. This is a better one. Okay, Booksy has a different nature already. So you have Asia. Okay, this is another one. I should have in. I should have used this first. For example, teaching strategies. There it shows you if it's available. Okay, for example, ito yung gusto mo, click it first. B-OK.Asia. 
Okay? Then you could download it. Pwede siyang email, save for later preview, and then download PDF. Magpa-download na siya. It, ito din, like the booksy.org, which I do not recommend anymore with all of the ads that's popping. Just use b b okasia Ayun, ang daming libro. Actually, this is where I get my PDF, my ebooks. I use a Kobol ebook reader and it really helps me a lot. So, ayan. Tools for teaching, you ha you would see suggestions upon upon uh, typing and selecting a book. Kasi parang i you lead ka niya sa other, other stuff. Um, just enough uh, English grammar, the illustrated version. No? Kumari gusto ko siya. Pero hanggang 7 downloads ka lang. Okay? Kasi magre-register na yung IP address mo. So, after that, it would download. Okay? So, just wait. And then you're okay. So, um, let's, let's move on to this, to the ending part of our of our presentation for today. There, na download na. So, I introduced to you four na open. Okay, ayun yung patigil. So, ayan. You have the copy already and you have, have the entire book. Okay? So, uh, on other, uh, para dun sa ibang mga sites na merong donate, syempre, a copyright pa rin, di ba? But, we are lucky that we have these online resources. And you also have um, commons, okay? Um, you could have um, thesis commons for scholarships and all. They are all available on the internet. It's just a matter of looking for the sites. So with that, we had four, four, four basic online tools or sites. We had Prezi. We had Pick the Chart. We have citation machines like uh, citethisforme.com. Yeah, like the site is for me. And then b-ok.cc or b-ok.asia already. This gives you uh, a plethora of, um, of references, materials that you could use for your teaching. So, kung baga wala na tayong lesson para sabihin natin na, ay, hindi ako maha makahanap ng book na reference. You have that site. Ay, hindi ako makagawa ng infograph. You have this one. I mean, puro templates na lang ang nagagamit ko. I don't have anything against templates though, but if you want something different, you could use you could use Prezi. So, with that, I hope you've learned the oras na, yung mga sinaing, ang baka gutom na yung buong pamilya nyo, kailangan nyo na magluto. I would have to end here. And, um, please make sure that you look for the link uh, of the uh, certificate below. It has already been posted na yan because we cannot post it before or during. Of course, it's after. And thank you for listening. If you have questions about those sites, I've been using them. For quite some time, for years, I, I'm fairly confident that I could help you out. Just feel free to comment on the comment section, okay? So, I hope that you'll be able to use these um, eventually, if not sooner. And if you have questions, make sure that you ask questions. We could communicate via the comment section. Or you could also send a message through my Facebook account, Cindy Cat. You would see me. My face there. Although there are lots of Cindy C cats there, you would see me with the post, okay? So, um, there. Thank you for listening and it's already late. So, I hope you'll be able to use that for the new normal education. Okay. Bye-bye. So, thank you for listening. <laughs>